I wanted to talk a little bit about a slow stitch kit. I don't know about you, but having an old tin, you see a lot of um, spoofs on this and memes about making fun of people who do this. But I love having a tin that I can throw all my stitching supplies in. Um, this, I'm gonna link to this. This is um, Book How. She um, had a pattern for this little kit and I love it and it just has thread and a needle sometimes that's all I want for a kit I have many different kits and I just I use whatever feels right to me right now um, that's the pattern for it I wrote it out on a thing so I will get that to you I like to have a little stash of fabrics that are in here and then all of my threads and these um, clothes pins that I wrap around um, the thread on, I'll show you that as well. Um, so let's do that first. I'll show you. Oh, I got some stray threads. Let's see. So this obviously needs to be wrapped on something and I probably won't be able to savage it all because I was lazy and didn't get it on something. So one of the things I do is I just take a paper clip, a paper clip, <laughs> clothes pin, uh, and I just, I go beyond this notch right here and I start to wrap. Sometimes I get into that notch, but I try to use that as my guide. And then I loosely, <clears throat> so that I can still keep it, I, I can open and close it. I, I have a little bit of tension enough that it holds it. And I just continue to wrap the string around the clothespin. And then when I'm done, all I do when I'm done wrapping it is I just open this up again and put it all the way through. But I keep the, t so, so wait, wait, wait. So the bottom one, I wrap all the way through. So I know that's the bottom one. And the top one, I clip at the, at this little piece right here. So I know that I'm grabbing from there. I'll fix that later. So anyway, so you know that much. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'm gonna show you what I currently have in, I have many stitch kits, but this is my um, kit that if I'm just stitching, I'm not doing anything else, I grab this kit. And it has a need to be cleaned out. So while I was cleaning it out, I just thought I would show you what was in it. So you could see <laughs> all the things that I have in it. And so as I'm cleaning it, we will talk about all the pieces in it. Okay, so I have a small ring. Let's see um, how big this is. Where is the ruler? I don't have a ruler right here. Oy. Hang on. Oh, here we go. So this is a four inch ring. I'd really like to have a three inch, so I'm gonna be looking for a three inch with a piece of vintage um, flower sack fabric. And so I just like slide this into the side, but I really want a three inch cause I would like to size down this bag a little bit. And then I have um, different threads, different consistency of threads. So like this is just a, uh, a couple rolls of um, thinner thread that I like to use. I think it's 40 weight, 40 weight, yeah. 40 weight thread, um, I just like it. Sometimes it's nice to have um, different um, textures and all the things of thread. Now these, so I liked these little ones, these little paper clips, but as you can see, I tried to get too much on there. It did not work for me, so I need to use up that thread to get that down. But anyways, so I have some of the DMC, is it DMC flat? thread. Um, the embroidery floss, I have a bunch of these. Um, I This is more than I normally like to carry, but um, I just went on a holiday and I overpacked. The other thing is, um, so instead of using a pen, this is a, a disappearing ink pen. Um, it's nice to have if you're drawing something onto your um, that you want to stitch that kind of needs um, a little, so you can see a guide. So I use it to write down on and have a guide. I always have 
this Elmer's glue, it's washable, so it's super, um, you can paste pieces together and stitch through it really easily, and it doesn't hold so um, stiff, so I like it, so I keep that in here. Um, beeswax, I've had this forever. I got it on Etsy. I think you can get it on Amazon too. Um, and I just, whenever I'm stitching, I'll, I'll pull the thread through it. So let's see, let's open up this. This is my needle, my felt needle folder, which I have way more needles than I need in here. But so all I do is I take my thread and I kind of run it through this so that it keeps it from, um, it helps give it some stability so that you're not constantly having a bunch of snags. I don't always use this. It's so cold in Alaska that it's, <laughs> I have a hard, I have a difficult time getting um, this to soften up to use sometimes. So um, I'll hold it in my hand just to warm it up a little bit. And if I'm in the car, I'll put it next to the heat blowing just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. But it does, um, it does help. Um, to keep you from getting a lot of snags. So, and this is my needle kit. It has just all my needles in it. And um, I got this on Etsy as well. You could easily make your own though. They're, this is just super simple. So I'm gonna put this in here. My scissors. It's good to have scissors because you're gonna need cut thread. And small, small scissors are great because they fit in the, um, Oh, you know what? I like to clip. This is just so, a, a little pad so that whenever I'm pushing the needle, it doesn't hurt so bad. I just use it as a, a buffer between my finger and the needle because thimbles I just don't use. So it's like, works like a thimble kind of. Put that in there. Scraps of fabric. I always keep a piece of elastic. You never know. In every kit I have, I have a piece of elastic. And then this is just like, um, Instead of using pins to, to attach stuff, I use the glue or these to hold things together. And so I, these little um, clips. And then I have this nifty little bag. I just zip it up and I have it. <clears throat> I don't always take this one because I have many ones that I have in other kits, but this one is nice whenever I'm, I'm just wanting to stitch. And it, it's nice and compact, but I really would like a to use the smaller bag. I have these travel on bags, I love them, but they have a smaller one and I would really like to push down. So I might uh, make this a little smaller or just create a whole other kit that's two different sizes. Anyways, but that's what I keep in my kit. Oh, and I will have a blog post with with links and all the things um, on, and I'll leave the link to my blog for that.